am so excited to welcome you to the 12 Vloggers of Christmas. That means that every day for the next 11 days, you can expect an awesome video from a wonderful YouTuber. So this is a collaboration with 11 other awesome people. And I've linked them below so you can find their channels and subscribe to them. Hit that notification bell so that you know when they've uploaded their awesome Christmas video as well. Here are the people you can expect to see a video from. Tomorrow will be EJ Kafupuls from Kafupa Land. Next is Brandon from Senior S's Spanish Spot. Then comes Darren Nakakihara. After Darren is Nicholas from A Happy Teacher True Story. Then Sarah at Home. Then Kaylee from Kaylee Nicole. Then we've got Jennifer from Genuine Teaching. Teresa from Cha Cha Cakes. Kyle and Kristen Thane from Mr. Thane. Fernanda from That One Happy Classroom. And wrapping it all up is Megan from Too Cool for Middle School. So be sure to check out their channels and tap that notification bell and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of their awesome uploads. Christmas has always been my favorite holiday because we celebrate Jesus' birthday. Also, you get to spend time with family that you don't always see throughout the year. People kind of make a point of getting together on big holidays, and that's always really fun because you get to see your cousins and aunts and uncles that live farther away because everybody makes a point of trying to get back together again. When I married my husband, his family also had a tradition of celebrating together on Christmas Eve because his sisters are older and they already had children, so they would do their little family celebrations on Christmas Day, and they would celebrate with the other part of the family on Christmas Eve, so it worked out very well. And we still do that to this day. It doesn't always happen on Christmas Eve because now the grandchildren are older and married and have their own children and they're kind of scattered to different places now. It's hard to get everyone together, but we do make a point of getting together sometime around Christmas or New Year so that we can all catch up with each other again. Once we had Caitlin, Christmas got even more fun for me because it's so much fun to buy for a child because you get to see the wonder and the excitement on their face on Christmas Day. And it brings back memories of when you were a child. So, every year since Caitlin was born, I have given her a Christmas ornament. And that is something that my grandmother did with me when I was growing up. I still have those ornaments to this day and they hang on my tree every year. It's very fun to pull them out of the box every year and hang them on the tree and realize that you've had them since you were a child. So they're very precious to me because they came from my grandmother who's no longer with us. Caitlin has quite a collection of ornaments now that she's 16 and a half. She has 16 ornaments now, and she's about to get her 17th ornament. So it's pretty special. And she can take those with her when she leaves when she's 99 years old. When we decorate our tree, we always do it together. We always make a big production out of it. We put on Christmas music, we make hot chocolate, and we just spend an evening doing it together, and that's our activity. When we're all finished, we turn the lights off, and we plug the tree in, and we just admire all the beautiful lights and things that are on the tree. Then if there's still time, we'll watch a Christmas movie together. A tradition that I started in our little family of three two years ago was to get us a family Christmas Eve gift to open. And it's something that we can do together. So the first year I got us an indoor snowball fight. And there are 40 of these cool snowballs. These came from Amazon. I'm pretty sure they still have them. They're just real squishy and soft. Kind of like... Uh, fleecy material and so we were wailing on each other having a snowball fight that first year. I also got three of these snowball shooters and they're just air powered. You put these little ping pong ball kind of things that are foamy into the end and you just pump it and shoot people with those. That was really fun. Last year I got us the headbands game. And if you're not familiar with that it's kind of a combination of charades and password you wear this little plastic headband around your head, which you feel really silly and it's really fun. And then you put a card down in it. And then your teammates have a certain amount of time to give you clues about the card that's on your head so you can guess what the object is or the thing is on there. You try to get as many cards as you can before your timer runs out. And then the other team gets a chance to do theirs. You track how many cards each team got each time. And at the end of the game, you tally them up and you say, oh, this person had more, so they won. The fun of it though, is in trying to figure out what the heck the person is trying to explain to you because some of those cards are very hard. Like, and you have to do some pretty silly things. Like if your card was toilet, the most obvious thing to do would be like to act like you're actually using one. And so some of the things that people do, you just kind of go, are you doing what I think you're doing? <laughs> so 
pretty fun, especially if you have a big group of people. I can imagine it could be very hilarious. We had a good time. We didn't really keep score so much. We were kind of our own thing. We all kind of acted like our own team and the two people would feed you the information and we just kept track of it that way. But it was really fun and we had a good time. That was a really good laugh. This year, I already have the thing bought and I will show it to you when we open it on Christmas Eve. Maybe I can film the craziness that ensues with this new activity. But just in case one of my family members watches this, I don't want to spoil the surprise. So you just have to wait and see. On Christmas Eve, our tradition is to always have finger foods, like little party food. So we have cheese and crackers, we have nacho dip, we have little smokies, we have summer sausage, we have fruit, and we have hot cocoa, and that's really fun. And we always watch like The Grinch or another Christmas movie like Rudolph or Frosty, a classic from our childhood that we share with Caitlin. On Christmas morning, we open our stockings first. And Caitlin's job is to pass them around and then we take turns each opening our stocking and seeing what we got. That's the most fun thing that we do together, I think, because the stockings could have anything in them. And it's always fun to try to figure out something to put in someone's stocking because it could be anything. I try to put a mixture of silly things, practical things, candy, and gift cards. Anything could be a stocking stuffer. I mean, you could put a hammer in someone's stocking and that could be the best thing that they could ever get. Just depends on their taste. So with Caitlin, as she's gotten older, of course, I've put different things in her stocking. She doesn't get toys so much anymore, but she'll get makeup items. She'll get gift cards to food places so she can pop in through the drive throughs She'll get special little candy that she still likes. She always gets bubble tape every year. That is something that will never change, even when she's 99 years old and I'm still able to get the bubble tape. Also, I like to put in like a little game or something that she can play, just this kind of silly. Caitlin kind of has started being Santa Claus the last few years because she's younger and she can climb under the tree better. <laughs> so she will pull a present for everyone out from under the tree and we'll take turns opening our gifts one at a time. And then we just kind of savor the gifts, opening them a little bit at a time, getting to see what everyone got, not rushing through it because no one's in a big hurry. Then when all the gifts have been opened and we clean up the wrapping paper mess and the bows and all of that, I like to make a big breakfast because by then we're very hungry. And since Caitlin's not little anymore, she doesn't get up super early like she used to. I'm the early bird now, which I never thought would happen. But I'm always up before everyone else just because I'm so used to getting up early for school. So I'll go upstairs and I'll make biscuits and gravy. I'll make French toast, cinnamon rolls, eggs, sausage. I'll just put on whatever anybody would like. And then we have a big buffet for breakfast. And then it's actually brunch at that point. And then we're all very full and happy and take a nap. <laughs> it's kind of how we spend Christmas Day together. Now that Caitlin has a boyfriend and they've been together for almost a year, I have a stocking for him too. And I got a new stocking hanger so he can have his stocking up here with the rest of ours. And as I've been collecting things for Caitlin's stocking, I've also been collecting things for his stocking because he has become very special to our family. We hope that he's around for a very long time. So I wanted to do something to let him know how much he means to us. Something that my mom always did when I was growing up was make Christmas treats. She always made fudge, she always made Anna's candy, and we also always made sugar cookies. And when I was old enough to bake and help her, she taught me how to make all of those things. So we would roll out the sugar cookie dough and we'd cut all the shapes and we'd bake them in the oven and then we'd get to decorate them with the colored sugar crystals and the little silver beads that weren't edible, so I'm not sure why they put them on there, but they don't have them anymore, so they probably found out they weren't very safe. But that was always fun and very, very cool to decorate all the things. Anna's candy, if you're not familiar with it, is like a stained glass candy. You boil it to the hard crack stage on your candy thermometer, and then mom would always put some kind of food coloring in it, either red or green, and you pour it into a cookie sheet and let it harden, and then when it's hardened, you hit it with a hammer and crack it all up. So it looks like little pieces of stained glass that are broken up. You can also flavor it with different oils. Like Anna's is an oil, so she always did Anna's, but you could also do peppermint, you could do vanilla, you could do whatever you want, any kind of flavor that you want. Something my dad always made every Christmas was orange bread, and that was kind of his specialty and his thing. So the house always smelled fabulous at Christmas time. Thank you for joining me for the 12 Vloggers of Christmas. I hope you enjoy learning a little bit about our family traditions at Christmas. And I hope you continue to join us throughout Vlogmas.
Also, don't forget to check out the channels listed down below so that you are sure not to miss any of the next 11 awesome vloggers that are going to share their stories with you as well. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you later. Thank you.